Okay, now that it's December 1st and the holiday season is upon us, you may be thinking, I'll work on the gazillion things that I have to do between now and the end of the holiday season and worry about my wellness on January 1st. Sound familiar? Perhaps it is just too overwhelming to start a new eating regimen or exercise plan just before the holiday season. Perhaps at some time you were thinking, you know, I was sick and my physician gave me antibiotics. My antibiotics stopped and then I got sick again. Or you might be thinking, what are physicians really doing to heal people? Aren't they just cutting out the problem? I've spoken to a few physicians and believe me, that's exactly how they feel. What physicians do really well is to remove the problem organ. One of the most common organs of removal is the stomach removal that's formally known as gastric bypass. There's the artery removal from the heart, the neck, the legs. There's unfortunately the toe removal that some diabetics must face or kidney removal in the case of diabetes as well. And of course knee and hip replacements from osteoporosis that seems to be removing the problem very nicely. But perhaps we should be thinking on a whole different level, healing outside the box. Now my field is nutrition, and as I'm sure you all know, food and nutrition is the most controversial of all. First meat is good for you in the 50s, then it's bad for you, now it seems to be good for you again. And the same thing with bread. Eat meatless and lots of bread. Now eat something else, meat, perhaps even bacon and no bread. And then butter was good for you. And then butter was terrible for you. Now butter's good for you and margarine's terrible for you. And coconut was terrible for you. And now it's good for you. What's a person to do? Well, here's what I'm going to suggest. My name is Jean Tiberio and I'm a nutritionist and a wellness coach. I'm going to explore different aspects of my own personal journey to health in the next year. I'll document different aspects of my wellness plan and invite you to go along on the journey with me. You can see my posts on my blog and my podcast, and I'll give you more information later. You can also sign up to be a wellness coach client, and I will work with you on your goals. I'm going to tell you my personal story and take an experimental journey to see if there's a larger picture in maintaining good health. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll first tell you a little bit about myself and what I'm planning to do. I happen to have muscular dystrophy and I have ailments associated with that. When I was first diagnosed in 1982, I was given the impression that I was expected to live about another 10 years. But as you can see, that turned out not to be the case. My expectations now are to maintain the good health I have for as long as I can. And I will document what I'm trying to do in the next year to maintain my good health. Now this will involve some meditation. It will involve different types of changes in my eating plans and perhaps some breathing exercises as well. I have no plans for myself other than to stay healthy and to help people on their journeys to stay healthy as well. Once again, I encourage you to start whatever wellness plan you want for yourself and whenever you're ready to make these changes. As with any dietary improvement or weight loss plan, it always helps to work in a group and to support each other. So that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned on my blog and my podcast for more information. Bye for now. Plan
and a grave.